There are several different colors of chalk that can be used for snapping lines. Never use red. It can leave a permanent mark. Blue chalk can sometimes be difficult to remove as well. Fluorescent orange is an excellent color choice. It is temporary, has high visibility, and is easy to remove. We first started using soapstone as a marker for decorative concrete layout work in 1986, and we know you will find it very useful as well. Soapstone is a naturally occurring whitish rock. It is relatively soft and may feel soapy when touched, hence the name. Soapstone erases easily, yet lasts long enough to get the job done. When doing patterns such as a checkerboard, tiles, or borders that may require more permanent layout marks, try this. Measure, mark, and snap intersecting grid lines and the corners of borders. Drill a small hole at the intersecting points. The drill bit used for drilling Tapcon screw holes is ideal for this. Wearing eye protection, hook the end of the chalk line on a nail, drill bit, or T-handle in the hole and snap a line. It is a good idea to do all layout work and to snap all lines prior to cutting. Carefully inspect your work so far to check that it is visually pleasing. Place marks on the side of the contour following wheel bracket to indicate where the front and rear edge of the blade is. These marks also show where the beginning and end of the cuts should be. Place a pencil mark about one eighth of an inch on either side of the bolt head. The rear mark indicates the approximate beginnings of a cut. The forward mark indicates the approximate end of a cut. Adjust and fine tune these marks as needed to suit your cutting style. On the concrete, Mark the beginning and end of the cut. Align the rear mark located on the wheel bracket with the beginning of the cut. Place your foot behind the engraver to prevent it from traveling backward. Turn the motor on. Press down on the front of the handlebar to engage the concrete. Use even, firm, downward pressure to keep the engraver straight. Watch the front pointer to maintain alignment with the chalk line. Keep the rear wheels firmly planted and the blade in the cut. As you approach the end of the cut, slow down. When the forward wheel bracket mark aligns with the end of the cut, release downward pressure on the handlebar. It is always better to undercut than to overcut. 